Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlighten. Today, we will discuss Uber's supply focus, Lyft's innovative rider features, and emerging platforms in Bengaluru. We will also cover Hyundai's hybrid expansion, advancements in perovskite solar cells, and a renewable energy partnership between EDP Renewables and Microsoft. Most markets are demand-driven, with supply following where demand exists. Uber focuses on supply in the US, while Lyft focuses on innovative rider features. In places like Bengaluru, demand has shifted to platforms like Namayatri and Rapido due to current supply. With self-driving cars, the power will shift to those controlling demand. If self-driving cars become mainstream, people will rent out their cars when not in use to the platform with the most demand. Self-driving eliminates the need for drivers, reducing labor costs in ride-hailing, as Waymo has already shown in San Francisco. Loyalty programs in ride-hailing are challenging because the benefits are limited compared to airlines or hotels. However, self-driving cars could change this. Platforms like Uber, with significant demand, will have more flexibility in their pricing and loyalty programs. This advantage makes Uber a strong contender in the future of ride-hailing, especially with self-driving technology. Hyundai has unveiled a new hybrid system set to power an expanded lineup of gas-electric models. They've confirmed the Ionic 9th's name and announced that all Genesis models will feature hybrid powertrains. Starting in 2027, Hyundai will introduce a plug-in hybrid system with a range exceeding 550 miles. Their strategic roadmap includes doubling hybrid models from 7 to 14, including Genesis hybrids. The next-gen TMED2 hybrid system promises improved fuel efficiency and performance, arriving in production models early next year. Future hybrids will also feature smart regenerative braking and vehicle-to-load functionality. Hyundai plans to produce these hybrids alongside electric vehicles in Georgia. By 2030, Hyundai aims to offer 21 electric vehicle models while investing in gas-electric alternatives. A new series hybrid, debuting in large SUVs by 2027, will feature a dual-motor, all-wheel drive setup and a 550-mile range before refueling. Let's now turn our attention to the benefits of renewable energy sources. Researchers recently published a study in Nature Communications introducing a method to enhance perovskite solar cells using a tailored supramolecular interface. This approach addresses instability at the interface between the perovskite layer and carrier transport layers, a key challenge in perovskite solar cells development. The study details a two-step treatment process involving cesium and crown ether to passivate defects, followed by an organic ammonium salt to improve interface properties. The results showed a significant boost in performance and stability, with a best-performing device achieving a 25.53% power conversion efficiency and retaining 96.6% of its initial efficiency after 1,050 hours of continuous operation. This novel method reduces charge recombination and improves charge transport, offering promising implications for the commercialization of perovskite solar cells and the advancement of renewable energy technologies. EDP Renewables is partnering with Microsoft to decarbonize Microsoft's operations through a 20-year agreement. Microsoft will buy 100% of the renewable energy from EDPR's Solar Nova 8 project, which has up to 200 megawatt peak of capacity. This collaboration is a significant step towards Singapore's goal of achieving at least two gigawatt peak of solar energy by 2030. Earlier this year, EDPR was awarded phase eight of the Solar Nova program, involving the installation of up to 200 megawatt peak of solar capacity across public housing and government buildings in Singapore. This project is the largest solar initiative in Singapore. 
The Solar Nova program, launched in 2014, aims to accelerate solar photovoltaic system deployment in Singapore. It has set new solar targets of 540 megawatt peak by 2030, contributing to the national goals of one and a half gigawatt peak by 2025 and two gigawatt peak by 2030. From advancements in self-driving cars and hybrid vehicles to breakthroughs in solar energy and renewable partnerships, today's discussion highlighted key shifts in transportation and sustainability. Stay tuned for more updates. Dear friends,